The second update of Fortnite Season 2 is here, and it has brought one of the most anticipated weapons of Chapter 3. We also have new leaks about this season's live event, which may include a doomsday device on top of another blimp that's crashed, so let's break it all down. Right now, jump in game and you'll come across the brand new Ranger Shotgun. This can be found in chests, supply drops, and sharks, and let me tell you, it packs quite the punch. It only has one shot before you have to reload, but the Ranger has a ridiculous amount of damage, and for a shotgun, it has pretty good range. It has everything we want in a shoddy, but we'll have to give this some time before we can figure out if it's worth picking up, though. Either way, it is something you have to try out. And if you've been keeping up the date with the I over 7 war, you'll be happy to hear that Kondo Canyon has been liberated by the 7. Just like the Daily Bugle, the blimp that was stationed above Kondo has now crashed into the ocean, and I'm a little sad these blimps are blowing up into POIs. Anyway, there's still so much more to come as the war rages on, and we continue to take back POIs. I mean, seriously, we don't even have time to celebrate our victory at Kondo Canyon, because we've already moved on to a new battlefield, Coney Crossroads. Now, of course, the new battle has brought funding stations to the area, which will be armored battle buses and turrets that will have to spend gold for. As usual, Hummaster Saber has also made his way to Kony, but considering we've defeated him like twice in a row now, I don't think any of us are really that worried about him. Something that has everyone talking is a new item that was hidden in today's patch notes. One of the secret changes of the update is the return of Clomberries. Yes, they are once again on the Fortnite Island, and this is likely one gigantic teaser for Clombo. He is not back yet, but he will be soon. So let's break down the amazing new items about to drop into the loop pool before he does release. Funding stations around the map have been updated with a new vote. It's time to save up your gold again because we can now choose between the boogie bombs and the rift goes and for the first time this season i don't think anyone knows who's gonna win but if i were to give my opinion i'd say we go for the boogie bombs and when that vote begins another countdown has finally come to an end Prowler, the secret skin of the season, has been released. It was meant to come out later this week, but Epic decided to drop the skin today. These are all the challenges you'll need to finish to unlock this skin, but with these come a gigantic secret that teases an insane Fortnite collab. One of these has a hidden description where he says, you're on your way, just keep going, which is actually a quote from Into the Spider-Verse. You might have noticed he says this to Miles Morales, meaning this might just be a teaser for an upcoming Miles skin. And if it's leaks we're talking about, today's update was full of first looks at the future of season two. With the new Obi-Wan show premiering in May, we are expecting some kind of new Star Wars collab, and it is coming. Leakers have found a new Imperial Stormtrooper NPC that will be roaming around the map. There will be a ton of them, and they'll literally just say Rebel Scum if you walk up to them. Let's just pray they don't have aimbot like last right. time. But of course, we should expect some Star Wars skins to go with it, like Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader, who have been leaked everywhere. In fact, today's update gave us 13 leaked Fortnite skins. Almost all of them are encrypted, but luckily, we've connected the dots to give you your first look. One of these skins will be the new version of Omega. He was leaked in a Fortnite survey last year and looks like a mix between Omega and Reinhardt from Overwatch. People have been really excited for him to release and he's in the files right now, so we can expect him in the item shop any day. Some think he'll be called the Omega Knight, which honestly sounds like a fitting name, but there's an even more interesting skin in the files that has Attack on Titan fans putting on their tinfoil hats. There's an encrypted set named Rumble, and it even has an item shop background that looks pretty anime inspired. Now some fans think this could be an Attack on Titan collaboration, who have recently been crossing over with Warzone and Vanguard. Now of course we shouldn't get our hopes up as it could turn out to be nothing. But speaking of anime and Fortnite, we also have our first look at the upcoming Anime Legends bundle. Judging from the survey skins, these three have a high chance of being included in the bundle. So it looks like we'll be getting an anime version of Penny and then two new original skins. Cosmetics aside, there's some amazing additions in store for us, including the return of an OG Fortnite weapon. Yep, the LMG will be invaulted in the near future, and we're expecting it as soon as this Thursday. Although considering we just got a brand new shotgun today, we might not see the LMG until next week. Now it might feel a little bit different to the original LMG, but I am so excited to get my hands on it again. And speaking of trying out old items, we are just days away from our next trial period. In a few days, balloons and shield bubbles will be coming back to the game, and then we'll have to decide which one to bring back permanently. It has been so long since we had either of these things in Fortnite, and being able to fly around with balloons is going to feel so weird on the Chapter 3 map. But if we decide to involve the shield bubble, this might just be the most game-changing item of the entire chapter. For people who play with zero builds, having a shield bubble will completely flip the game mode on its head. So what will you choose? Let us know in the comments below. But there's also another huge leak that has a lot of Fortnite players scratching their heads. Soon, two upcoming NPCs will find their way to the island. One is codenamed Realm, while the other is called Sip T, which sounds a little mysterious. But despite these leaks, today's update added some additions you can experience in-game right now. You have to hear about everything else you secretly missed. A story that we have been following for years has finally begun a new chapter. For the past few weeks, we've been keeping an eye on the Rock family, who came rising out of the sand and have been making their way around the island. 
Well, with today's update, the Rock family has moved yet again. Now they are fully dug up and the mother is with their child. Meanwhile, the Rock father has pulled the dog out of the sand. Who knows what else is in store for these guys? I mean, I just hope the story has a happy ending. And this season is full of twists and turns. It started two weeks ago when we conquered the Daily Bugle and noticed something really interesting at the POI. There was a brand new ghost flag in the area and this confused everyone. What does Ghost from Chapter 2 have to do with the 7? It made zero sense and a lot of us thought it was probably just a bug. And then weeks passed and it stayed there. No effort was made to fix this flag. And that brings us to today where Kondo Canyon has been taken by the 7. At Kondo, you can look at the updated POI and notice the same ghost flags are now in the area. This confirms that it was never a bug in the first place and Fortnite is purposely trying to link Ghost and the 7. So what is their connection? Well, especially when you consider that Meowsles and Sky are hiding inside of Command Cavern. What are they up to? Maybe they'll have something to do with the live event. And I gotta say, these small plans are nothing compared to what the Imagine Order are creating. We've been speculating about their plans for a while now, with the community thinking they're experimenting on the bones of the Devourer. And while they are currently investigating the Caddis remains, thanks to a brand new challenge from Agent Jones, we have been told there's something much more devastating in the works. According to Jones, the Imagine Order's management loves Doomsday Machines. Yes, there's even a Doomsday Division back at the IO's headquarters, and according to him, one day, they will destroy us all. Apparently, the Seven have credible intel that the IO is now working on one of these Doomsday devices, and it might play a huge part in the live event. While the Imagine Order work on their Doomsday Machine, we are joining the Covert Ops of the Seven. Yep, in a few days, we will get new quests to complete a Covert Operation in Zero Build. Once we do all these challenges, we'll earn the Secret Sledge Pickaxe. The challenges will be given to us by the Origin, and it'll involve things like planting a bomb at the IO facility. There is definitely some insane stuff here, and while doing the Seven's dirty work sounds exciting, sometimes we need to let off steam with a concert. Luckily, the next Soundwave series has been announced, and it's with Brazilian rapper Emicida. Last time we got an exclusive spray and 55,000 XP for attending Tones and I, so hopefully this one will have even better rewards. Creative's live events are getting crazier with each Soundwave series, and this one looks like it'll be the biggest one yet. But another upcoming feature has been leaked, and it's a brand new rap slot. We currently have rap options for every weapon type and for vehicles, so honestly I don't really know what this one could be for. But while that was added, the Game Buddies rap has been removed from the files, and I kinda like this one, so hopefully it'll come out someday. And a fan favorite feature is set to return this season with Wild Weeks. Some of the community absolutely hate Wild Weeks, while others love them. Over the period, we'll see a Purple Week, a Chocolate Week, and something called Bargain Bin. We'll get more details soon, but it's not the only exciting thing that Epic is working on. Soon, bots are going to have the ability to build a bunker, and there isn't much info on this, but I'm not really ready for bots to crank 90s on me, Epic. And while we got all of these insane changes in Battle Royale, today Creative Mode has received one of the biggest updates to Chapter 3. The video player device has been released that lets people play preloaded music videos on TVs, and there's also a brand new water device. Now you can make your own areas of water to swim and dry boats in. Everyone is also excited because there's a new VFX creator device along with tanks, cannons, and anti-vehicle turrets. This update is absolutely huge. Considering we also got the prop mover last week, expect creative mode to completely change over the upcoming months. As creative 2.0 gets closer, Fortnite is going to slowly turn from a battle royale to a Roblox competitor, and I cannot wait for that. That is everything in the update. Hope you enjoyed. It's been Tommy. Keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.